Hey guys, KTV here. So I came across something interesting the other day. This LED bulb was being used downstairs and my parents told me that it stopped working. So due to the coronavirus lockdown, it's not as easy and it's not really essential to go out and buy an LED bulb. Luckily I have spare ones about. However, this one is a electric power lamp one and my theory is the diodes have failed. They're absolutely good bulbs, they're actually really good. I've been using them around my bedroom, they're all around the house, these Poundland bulbs. This is the first one that has let us down. This was installed in 2017, along with all, because we upgraded from CFL to LEDs, regardless if the CFLs were dead or not. So, let's show you what's happened we've got our light fit there it is plugged in for this demonstration it is plugged in turn on extension leader switched on so by that strobe end that means that there's a short circuit bear in mind be careful with this soon that means there's a dead there's basically one of the LEDs have gone open circuit in it. That's interesting. That's interesting. Ooh! Wow! Well, that was assembled well. That is literally just popped on. I believe some of the batches were like that, or the glue or whatever has worn out from all the heat cycles because this bulb was used nearly every day. Let's ensure the switch is off and see. Oh, yep, it is just what I thought it is a dead LED is there. Oh. There's a dead LED there, there's meant to be five LEDs on that board. And there's four, so if you can get a closer look at that. That other LED's there. So there's the fifth LED, and you can already see what's gone wrong. The LED has completely burned out. Oh, that's a bit smoky, but there's nothing in there. Oh. Wow. Now that is an interesting bulb. That is not an happy bulb. Right, I'm going to switch the extension lead off. For precautionary sake. As soon as I poke that lap, oh. Ah, that she zapped me a little bit. Ouch. Right, well, let's be very cautious with this now. Ouch. Right. So, no passive discharge air resistors, but just make sure there's no discharge on anything. Nope. So, yeah, LEDs may or may not last forever. This one was a pound and it's did its life. The fact that was there was a little bit dodgy because a small kid could pull it off. That come off in nothing. So, yeah, just bear in mind, and I do say about, because one of my mates have a LED integrated fixture, as the main light in their ceiling, and if this was to happen to him, one of these LEDs failed, the whole fitting wouldn't work. And imagine coming in on a busy day at school or college or wherever, and then you can't turn your light on because of a simple fault like this. You know, that's why, at least with this, we could take the bulb out and screw it in. So, yeah, that's just look at a broken Poundland light bulb. So yeah, 
bye guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and that's it.